are you doing today? It's me, Pastor Scott, and I'm so glad to see you guys here for another craft video. This week, we're gonna be making an awesome craft. We're gonna be heading out to the open seas. I know that you'll be hooked on this craft. Today, we are going to be building our very own fishing rod. And it can even catch fish. How fun is that? Well, this craft is really cool because it reminds us of what we learned earlier today. We saw that when we follow Jesus, he uses us. We talked about how the disciples were called to become fishers of men. And so we thought, why not become fishermen ourselves? <laughs> so without further ado, let's make this craft. First thing that you're gonna need for building a fishing rod is a stick. So I want you to go out into the world and find yourself a stick outside. Here's what happened when I went to find my stick. The first thing that we're gonna need to make our fishing rod is the rod. And so we're outside and I'm gonna find us a big stick. Let's go see what we can find. This looks like a good spot. Let's go in here. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Well, now that I have my big stick, let's see what else we're gonna need to make this fishing rod happen. We're gonna need some string. We are gonna need some tape. We are gonna need some scissors. And as usual, scissors are sharp, so be careful with them. We are gonna need some foam paper. We are gonna need some glue. We are gonna need some googly eyes and some magnets, because what's a fish without googly eyes? And we're gonna need some markers to decorate our fish. Well, that's all we're gonna need, so let's get down to be We're gonna start off by making our fishing rod. The first thing that we're gonna need is our string. We wanna make sure that we tie this string to the end of our stick. Just like this. So I'm gonna make one big knot here. Then, you know what, just in case, I'm gonna make it a double knot. And everyone knows that a double knot is the best kind of knot you can make. Okay, now just to be sure, I'm gonna use a piece of this tape and I'm just gonna tape around my string. So now it's on there, as you can see. It's not going anywhere. How awesome is that? Then we are going to take our magnet, or one of our magnets, and we are going to tie it around the string. And then we're gonna give it a little bit of tape just to make sure that it stays in place. We're going to wrap this guy over here. Now, you might find tying knots difficult. And if you do, don't feel bad asking mom and dad for some help because they have lots of experience tying shoes. And then we're just gonna put a piece of tape around it so we know that it is secure. And just like that. And there you have it. Your fishing rod is ready to go. But don't worry. That's not all the craft that there is today. We still have to make our fish. To make our fish, we're gonna use our foam paper into fish shapes. So you might wanna trace out a fish onto your paper and then we're gonna cut it out using scissors. 
I'm pretty confident in my ability to cut out the shape of a fish. So here we go. Cut like that. These fish are gonna look so good. I just can't wait to catch them. And just like that, we have a fish. And now we're gonna do another one, just because we need two sides of every fish. So if you wanna make three fish, that means that you need six fish pieces. Now I'm gonna make my fish the same color on both sides, but this is your fish. You can make your fish look like whatever you want. So here, let's cut another one. We're gonna do a, the back fin, and then we're gonna go all the way up here. You know, you could add anything you want to these fish. You could give it a dorsal fin. That's the big fin that's on its back. Or you could make it, I don't know, have a mouth. You could do whatever you wanted with it. But there you go, I have two fish, and now we're ready to move on to the next step. Now that we have our two fish sides, we need to stick them together. But we need to make sure that we do it in a way that our fishing rod will actually be able to pick up our fish. So we are going to glue a magnet to our fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of glue and we're gonna put it on the front side of one of our fish. Once we've got the glue open, we can then squirt just a little bit on the front, just like that. It looks kind of like an eyeball, but it's not. We're gonna get to go those later. Then we're gonna take our magnet and we're just gonna squish it into the glue and we're gonna hold it there for a few seconds. And then once it's dry, we'll, we'll glue the next piece on. So we're gonna take our glue, we're gonna put a little dab onto the magnet that is already glued in onto the fish. And then we're going to take the glue again and put a line of glue on the back tail of our fish. Then, we're going to take our fish, the other side, and we're going to squish them together. And we're gonna hold it there for a little bit until they are dry. And now that it's dry, we're gonna put googly eyes onto our fish. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna give it a little bit of glue, and then we are going to just very carefully put it onto our fish. We're gonna hold it for a minute because now our fish is gonna look like this. How much fun is that? And now that our fish have googly eyes, we get to decorate them. Now that our fish have googly eyes, let's decorate them a little bit. So I'm gonna give each of my fish a smiley face because smiley faces are a ton of fun and I love my fish to be smiling, like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them some color. So we're gonna take this red marker and we're gonna draw some wavy lines on my fish. Oh, oh, you know what? That looks excellent. Look at that, it looks so good. Then I'm gonna take this purple marker and you know what, I'm gonna color the tail purple because that's, that's a lot of fun. Coloring my fish's tail, coloring my fish's tail. Look, now it's purple, how awesome. You know, I'd catch this fish. I don't know if I'd eat it, it's too beautiful, but I'd still catch it. If you want to decorate your fish, you can decorate them any way that you want. I chose to go with a little bit of color, but maybe you want your fish to be covered in stickers. Or maybe you want your fish to have big fins. You can make your fish any way that you want. Now that we have our fish decorated, let's move on to the final step. And now it's time for us to test out our rod. Let's see if we can catch any fish. And we 
kind of just wait for a little bit. We wait until we kind of feel the tug of a, the fit. Oh, there it is. I got it. I got some. I got some. Okay, here, here. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Two fish. Wow. And there you have it. We've made ourselves a fishing rod and some fish to remind us that Jesus has called us to be fishers of men. He asks us to follow him. And when we follow Jesus, he does great things with us. So I wanna leave you guys and let you go, but I wanna pray with you guys first. So let's bow our heads and pray together. Lord, we thank you for how you have called us. Just like the disciples who were asked to go fishing for people, Lord, you have called us to share the gospel with everyone around us. Lord, as we have fun fishing in our own backyard, would you remind us of how you can use us to share with our friends, our neighbors, and our family? Lord, we want to see people come to know you and to be saved from their sin just like we are. So help us to be strong and courageous in you. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, kids. I have some fishing to do, so I will see you guys next week. Bye!